Good day, everyone. Today is the 6th of April, 2022, and my name is Ricardo Marman. Yesterday, I have received the order from Judge Van Zale of the Western Cape High Court. She has unfortunately dismissed the Show Us the Virus court case with a punitive cost order against me. Ironically, this order is dated the 4th of April 2022, and we have received it on the 5th of April 2022, exactly two months after the matter was heard on an urgent basis in the Western Cape High Court. And one day after, the president supposedly declared that the lockdown is now over. This is a strange coincidence. But we know that the fight is not over. In fact, this punitive cost order against me shows that they now are coming for me. But I put my trust in God the Most High, and I fear no evil. For those who think that since the president has made a statement or declaration that the lockdown is now over, for those who think after that statement that things will now get better or things will improve, they better think again. This is the first punitive cost order that was given against someone. It's given against me. It is the first order that was given of its kind. All the other court cases that has challenged the lockdown regulations were not given punitive cost orders. This is the first one. Why am I being given this punitive cost order? What is my crime? What have I done? I stood up to them and I demanded my rights and the rights of all South Africans. That is the reason why I am being punished. This is clear evidence that there might be no remedy to be found in the courts and that those who seek to challenge these regulations and these usurpation of rights by the state will no longer be tolerated in the courts. A good case, however, can be made in the court of the Most High, the Almighty God, that our entire system of state has been subverted by this orchestrated pandemic. And far from ending, in fact, it is now escalating. Good morning, my fellow brothers and sisters, beloved in the Lord. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who woke us up this morning, the one that I will always acknowledge as my God. I greet you because this morning I just want to encourage you because after I listened to this voice note last night sent to me by the person who is speaking there, Ricardo Marman, it just dawned on me that our world and our life, our lives as we know it, is gone. Now we can choose to still live in oblivion, in little La La Land. We can choose to still want what we had before. It is gone. If we are not grounded, as ons nie gewortel is, binnen in die God uit nie, you are on your own. I have I am supposed to speak on whistleblowing. Um, the person who has been wanting to expose this government for the past two years, the door has just been shut in his face by a high court, a court in our system. We don't have covering anymore, my brothers and my beloved sisters. You are on your own. 
we are on our own. Because if someone, a whistleblower, because that is what he was busy doing, blowing the whistle. Now, these subjects I gave to Steve on Sunday already. And last night, or actually this morning, I decided I'm not going to talk on that because nothing else matters to me personally than our freedom. And our freedom has been infringed and we are being governed by the most evil, the most misleading government at this moment. And this morning I had to pray for someone that I decided long ago not to pray for. But this morning God has laid it on my heart to pray for this man because this man is deep in the deep state. Deep, 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 deep. Your president, Cyril Ramaphosa, is within the nest in the center of all of this. He has sold his soul long ago. And everyone in cabinet who is with him, every pastor, yes. Every preacher, every reverend, every clergyman that is on this bandwagon has long ago sold their souls. They are standing and rising up right now against what was said and all the laws that is going to be passed, etc., etc. Because you know why? Because it influences the numbers of people that is going to church. Rhema. Do not be misled when you see churchmen, groot kerksmanne, staan nou ewerskielak op, waar was hulle die afgelopen 24 maanden vast aan die slaap? They were sleeping, they were lulled into a deep sleep because they did not watch and pray. And God has been lifting up, he's been raising up normal people, people that you've never heard before. They are speaking against what is going on. Now, why am I using this platform to say, well, you know what? It influences every one of us here. It influences every UIM member. The fact that we are living in a state where your freedom is not even guaranteed what is freedom your freedom is being able to walk in the street and breathe in air and go and buy and do whatever you want go on holidays without any restrictions go and move without anybody telling you let me test you you look like you have the flu let us take you to a medical center and make sure that you don't have this thing that my dear friends has a direct impact on your life we're living in a place or in a in a country in a state where i saw the visuals now that kali said of what is happening in pumalanga in creel a young girl has been raped by a few 15 year old boys and this state instituted body called south african police services has done zilch to help that situation. We're living in a state where when you go to a police station now, like the one that is in Easterus, where you go and you want a J88 form because you have been hurt, they will not give it to you. Why? Because we are living in a tyrannic state. We are living in a state that is absolutely emerged in the hands of evil. We are living in a country where satanic churches, yes, it was topic last night, uh, four or five years ago, they have been here. Satanic churches. Now, sorry, as I am standing here, every satanist, every satan worshiper, Every person that is walking in the darkness against the will of God, you are my enemy. Let that sink in. 
Because everything that these churches so called, yeah, la, la, la copy moss, all they do is copy, copy and paste. They say it, the, the Satanists do not have any anything original. They are not original. Everything they do, they have copied from the kingdom of God. Now they are applying it in the kingdom of darkness. They have a Bible. They have church. They have a God who is Satan. They have disciples. They have evangelists. They have everything that we have. They have and they go against everything that we stand for. And therefore, they are my enemies. But when they do come to God and they bend their knees, because the word of God says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And even the person who has insulted Jean Horsen, telling Jean Horsen, man, just get away with your Jesus because that is a false God. It is because of Jesus that we are in this state. Even you will bend your knee and you will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You will understand that I cannot sit while I'm doing all of this. When I'm in spiritual warfare, I usually walk around. When I pray, I walk around because I can't sit because I have to move around. I am I am now standing in front of a camera, but at least I can walk around. You, my fellow brothers and sisters, you, my beloved in the Lord, I pray the blood of Jesus. I don't care what your background is. I pray God's protection over you. I pray that you will open up your eyes and your spiritual eyes so that you can see what is going on. And do not back down. Do not back down for the enemy. You must get to a place where you can say to yourself, even if I lose everything, everything, I will not back down. I will not comply. I will not bend my knees to the enemy. The reason why these satanic altars, because I call them altars, Oravalige planters, Hiran, Madrant, Kaapstad, Durban, it's very strategic. Come on! These people also have a strategy. Terwijl ons slimmer en slaap in die aande, is satanse mense bezig. Between 3 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the morning, that sizzle. Because they are busy with activities. Now I'm asking you as my brothers and sisters, you need to start waking up early in the morning and start bending your knees and start intercessing and start praying this country into God's will. Now a lot of people are asking, why does Neil de Beer not talk about all this? I am talking about it. Neil, whatever I am saying, my brother Neil de Beer backs it up. And for those of you who are under a disillusion, thinking, and I know you, I know you by name, you have made statements saying that, yes, Neil de Beer is also part of the deep state. Well, I rebuke those words in the name of Jesus. I come against those words right now because you are lying. You are being misled. This is my brother. He is a son of God. He stands for what I stand for. He stands for what is written in the Bible. He is against everything that has been said and, 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 and everything that is happening right now. Everything that comes from the mouth of our lying, deep-stated president. My president is against it. So you must stop rubbish about my president that's my brother and i will back him all the way don't even go there if you don't have your facts shut your mouth i'm supposed to talk about community participation gone is the days i thought i was actually going to deviate completely but gone is the days where you can mind your own business. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. And I will not walk by 
and ignore the suffering and the cries of people suffering. I will not do that. And I want to encourage you to also take up your stand. I am representing not just the UIM here. I am representing the body of Christ. I am representing God as I am standing here. That is why I'm talking in authority. And I'm saying to you now, gone are the days that you mind your own business. Stop minding your own business. Find out what is going on next door. If you don't see your neighbor for three, two days, go and knock on the door and find out what is going on. Because if we don't do it, who else will? Because we are the hands and feet of Christ on this earth. Come on, beloved. When I'm done here, some people were victims of floodings that happened a few months ago. They still have nothing. They live in a huge church building. That's not grond, that's not vloer nie. Mamas, wat op matrasse slaap, met kinders, met niks. They don't have anything. And we want to mind our own business. You cannot mind your own business. Mind the business of your brother and sister. Because this government is not doing it. They've been dumped there and forgotten about by this evil ANC, ANC government. Helped by the EFF brothers. So my prayer is, my prayer is, oh, and this is so, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It is so difficult for me to do that because my flesh, Fatima, this, my flesh, doesn't want to pray for Cyril Ramaphosa. My flesh does not want to pray for Julius Malema to do a change of heart. My flesh does not want to pray for them to turn to God. My flesh doesn't want to. My flesh feels that they need to go to hell. And I'm being honest with you. My flesh, my, my eka, Fatima, will die mense binnen nie al sien. Maar my gees, Godse gees sê vir my bid vir hulle. En, oef, ek moet nou eers bid vir myself, so dat ek kan bid vir hulle. But I will, that's my, that is my, uh, that's my journey. I have to do it on my own. Because I am upset by the fact that they have brought us to where we are at. And the only way that these two filthy parties, yes, I'm talking politics now, the only way that these two filthy, dirty, evil parties can keep us apart is to play the race card. When I'm reading the messages here, I see all races, all of them. And we, the UIM, is the only, and I can say, I can on a wonder say, us is the only party. Wat so divers is, soos wat ons is. Alle rasse, geslachte, sexual orientation, um, geloven, behalve sataniste. Sorry, nie sataniste nie. Ek, not satanist. We do not accommodate them. Kijk okay, wat vir my boodskap is hier. How can you be against die? I am against die because you are against what I stand for. Finish and klaar. If you are against the, 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 rechtver, wat is rechtverdigheid? As jy teen rechtverdigheid is, rechtverdigheid teen jou eie mede broers en sisters. As jy jou broer en sister seer maak, I am against you. If you are racist, I am against you. If you are, and I'm not saying they, I'm talking about you, 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 my friends that's watching you, watch yourself, let's watch our hearts. 
let's sit and judge ourselves and ask our hearts, how, how is your heart, Fatima? Waar teen is jy? Ek is teen onrechtverdigheid, ek is teen uh, mishandeling, ek is teen enige iets wat my medebroer en sister seer maak. I am against that. So we have to watch our hearts. We have to, oh, waar is die ding toch nou? Uh, keep ourselves, keep our, I'm, I wrote here, community participation. Participate, that's all I'm going to say to you. I, before I forget, next week, Saturday, I will be going to Krugersdorp just to visit and to share the vision and mission of the UIM and just to have fellowship with people. Now, please, I am going to encourage you here in Gauteng. Ek is hierso, man. Ek is hierso. Kom, kom ons keir. Ek sal tot daar by julle gaan. As daar nie diesel in my kar is, ek sal stap. As die afspraak woensdag is, dan sal ek maandag al begin en stap. But I have to get there. I want to have fellowship with you. I need to break bread with you. We need to pray together. This is a party that prays. We pray in the beginning and we pray in the end of our meetings. We pray wherever we go. We pray we are a party within faith. Within the faith of God. Jalle net kom. Ek gaan kreeus door toe. Hou asjeblief die blad dom laat ons weer op datum hou. Ek gaan daarby Janita Postimus wees, sy en haar vriende het my, hulle nooi my om daar te wees en so aan. So hier in Pretoria hou ek, Eesteris, wherever, invite me, or I will invite myself, ek is van die mense, ek nooi myself, ek waar ek nie weet nie, vir my wil jy nie, ek gaan myself nooi, but let us pray bread together, let us pray together. Council accountability, I don't even want to talk about that, we need to keep this government accountable for everything that they are doing. Do not comply. Do not comply. Because if you comply, you are giving them power. Don't comply. Resist. I'm not saying fight. I'm saying resist. Stay. I this divat no so foolish. Okay, wait. No, someone that needs to tap it again. Come on, the heck is up. Sorry jylle, om dit is die meisie met wie ek mama Lori toe moet gaan. So this is my conclusion. Just want to mention one more thing. Yesterday morning, or yesterday afternoon, my hart het hier geklop. Because I realized what this evil system, now this is not just in South Africa guys, this is all over the world. All over the world. Your president, this Sir Ramaphosa, that God expects me to pray for, that I I will pray for me so that I can pray for him because I need prayer to pray for him because I am struggling. They have the other ek, yeah, go in the ticket tang or. I can just go live. I can just no no. Um, yeah, these people. That sit around the table with certain powers that be. They have orchestrated things, not last year, not year before last, long ago. Before I fell asleep last night, <coughs> this is the thought that came to me. In 1994, who was the SG of the ANC? Who was the one who signed off documents on behalf of the ANC? Documents that has to do with our health. Documents that has to do with our money. Documents that has to do with our education. Who was the SG? Think. That same person is now in charge of this country. That same person who signed off the education, the health and our finances over to entities that are not even part of South Africa. Did you know that the Reserve Bank does not belong to South Africa? Did you know that our education system is that is on UNESCO? 
Die feit dat ons moet deelnemen in al hierdie gemors beteken dat Zuid-Afrika is deel van WHO. En dit is goed wat niet gister gebeur het nie, nie laas jaar nie, nie twee jaar terug nie, maar een hele paar jaar terug. So this country was not sold last year, year before last, long ago. Now, what are you going to do about it? Because we have been non-participant of everything that is happening in government. What are you going, are you going to vote for them if, you, if we even get to that point of voting? Because that's a unrustigheid in my heart. But if we do get there, it's all on you. Where you are going to make that cross again. Hoe om te wijzen dat jij malles in je kop is om jezelfde ding oor en oor te doen en verschillende uitslaat te krijgen om te verwachten. Wat mij gister ontstel het was one of my aftercare children came to me love it. Hij was upset. Because he's got to do homework. And I say, Auntie Fatima, I can't do this work. And when I looked at it, oh, oh my God. It was as if there's pornography in this child's textbook. Because this section is about sexuality. Now we also did sexuality. But the drawings and the pictures were very subtle. It wasn't direct. But when I looked in this child's book, it that the couldn't connect so well pornography in his book had it. And this child is expected to do work from it. And it is normal for the teachers. And when we marched against this two years ago, when I was still in the ACDP, it was only the ACDP that spoke against it. No one else. Parents, people that were supposed to be part of the march, they didn't come. The same thing when the ACDP marched against this... Um, the, 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 the systems and, and the new laws that, that uh, this government wants to implement. It was only them. It was only the ACDP and a few of the UIM and a few other people that, that participated. Where? Where was Amal? Does it only raak hierdie goeders net sekere mens of is it net sekere mens wat my beklijf vir hierdie goeders? Jylle moet op, jylle moet beginne deelneem. Begin a deal name. Yes, Joyce, long before 1994, you are right. You need to wake up, guys. It's more than just council problems. It's more than just water and lights, potholes, all of those things. It's more than this. Your freedom. It is of no use that you have millions of rands. You are wealthy, but you lack two things. Your freedom and your health. And people's freedom is now being infringed. Their health is compromised by the crap that was injected in them. 12 year olds, 13 year olds getting heart attacks and strokes. Is that normal to you? And there's still medical people saying it is not related to what has been injected to them. I will leave it at that. And I want to pray for your protection. That God will give you wisdom to lead you where you need to go to participate in your community. And whoever you meet, you pray for them. I do neighborhood watch and we see people early mornings, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, walking around, young people. And last night I said to myself, from this day on, I will get out of my car and I will pray for them. Because this country needs prayer. They need God. Ek stap af. My vriendin is hier. Ons moet nou gaan werk. God bless you. God keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may God's spirit be with you. Goodbye.